Hello. Hi, right, so this is kind of a big haul. Everything that's in it, I did not get at the same place at the same time. This is actually stuff that I've gotten for a couple of months now, and I've just not done a haul video because I've not really felt like it, had time, a lot of different issues. So I figured I'd go ahead and do my haul. I went to Victoria's Secrets recently. Of course, there is no clothes in Victoria's Secrets that's going to fit me. But I do like their fragrances and stuff like that. And they had a sale going on. So I got the um, pink Sunkissed. It's the pink brand. The scent is Sunkissed. They had these two for $25. So I got a uh, fragrance and a body wash. This is like a scrub. Now this does not smell like this. This has a completely different scent. It's not a very strong one. I know they were trying to mimic this one. And it's a, it's this one is already a, a, not an extremely overwhelming fragrance anyways. But it's not, like I said, it's not the same scent. But they're supposed to because they're supposed to be, both supposed to be sun -kissed. I had tried this in the tester and not this. Um, there was a lotion I've kind of wishing I got the lotion, but I got like a gazillion lotions. Like I just like moved around stuff in my room and I found two full bottle, bottles of Bath and Body Works lotions that I've not even opened. So I'm like, I got enough lotion. So why do I need more? So I didn't get the lotion, but I think the lotion would have smelled better than the sun kissed in this. I maybe should have probably l smelled some of the other fragrances in the, in the body scrub. Another thing I got is I did a hot look order. I got the balm. They had uh, stuff from the balm on sale. I got the uh, eye makeup remover, the white tea and carrot eye makeup remover. And then I also got the Bon Jovi palette, which I was really excited to find this. It was less than 20 bucks. In fact, I had already been playing with it that way. My makeup for today was from this. I really had been looking for it and I saw the last time they had it I saw it and I didn't have the money to get it well this time I did so I went ahead and jumped at it I love this thing it is like got two those are like cheek stain lip balms type thing uh, that is a blush a highlighter and 12 eyeshadows and then they have down here suggestions on combinations I'm thinking about doing a look video, and now I've never done a look video, so that would be interesting for me to try, considering I would have to shoot it in my bathroom, and I'm like kind of afraid to do that. And then I got another palette. I had gone to Target, and my Target finally has some NYX. The NYX, uh, it's Dreamcatcher palette. This one is Golden Horizons. It looked like it would be a kind of a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked palette. And it is, it's not, you know, it's not an exact dupe. Of course, the colors are different. And some of the colors do not have absolutely fantastic pigmentation. And other ones do. So I'm happy with the palette as is. I can do a lot of looks with it. While there, I found... A NYX Butter Gloss. This one is Raspberry Tart. This is my second one. I got my Ipsy bag for June and it had uh, the NYX. So I'm really happy with that. And then I also got the no Napoleon Produce NP Set Lipstick. This one is Nosa. It is a bright orange. Let's see. And oh, you can see that better in this light. But it's a nice orange color. Really enjoying this. I've gotten several orange lipsticks lately. Because I also picked up a Milani lipstick. Here it is. The uh, Flamenco Poise. And this is uh, more of a pinky orange than the other one. You can see the two of them together. So that's le definitely more pinky there. But this one is my first Milani mint lipstick. I know Emily Noel. There are several people that I've watched that have really 
raved about Milani and stuff, and I actually agree with them. I thought it was really well. The NP set, it did pretty good. I mean, it lasts as long as regular lipstick. Went on creamy and stuff. I have no complaints about that one. We have a uh, store here called Five Below, and they have everything. It's like a Dollar General, basically, or it's basically a dollar store. Everything is either $5 or below, and so I picked up a few items from there. I picked up this Sunkiss Trio palette. It's got a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. That one is more of a light powder. And it doesn't take much with these things. They are on really strong. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can't see that lighter palette, lighter color. But you get the idea. The bronzer and the blush go on really strong, so it takes just a little bit of tack with that one. I really like the fact that it is this giant compact. I I find that amusing. I can't help myself. And then I also bought one of their baked blushes. Now, I've yet to open this thing. I literally bought this today, and I have not even opened it yet to do a swatch to see if how it looks on me or anything. I was pretty happy with the Sunkiss Trio and I happened to t be telling my mom about the store so we went by today and I picked up a few things today also. Again, like I said, multi days on the haul. And this one is called oh, Coral. This is Coral. So that's uh, the baked blush right there. And that is the color right there. It's kind of it's got some of this brown. It depends on where you go. It's got this brown in it. Gives it a little bronzy coral color. It is a very nice color, actually. And three bucks for the blush. So it wasn't really very expensive. Something in the bag I had leaked, so I'm wiping it all off. Sorry. And then while I was there, this is probably the item that leaked all over the place. I got a bottle of the Not Your Mother uh, hair is the beach babe texturizing spray i had bought the little bitty bottle over at ulta for a sample well this five bucks over there i love because i i found i love this product so i just went ahead and bought it i like the fact that it's got the squirt nozzle on it that's kind of cool and then i went by walgreens the other day and i found this this is elf uh, they have, still in package, yes, I haven't taken it out, but they have an eyeliner and then two eyeshadows here. I thought that they were absolutely gorgeous. I actually, the day that I took, brought, bought these, my balm palette came in. So that is why this is not open yet, because that came in and I was playing with it. But this got a nice green and, uh, beigey, uh, it's kind of a shimmery beige color, almost a champagne color. I'd say champagne. And then it's got a taupe and a, a purple. And both of them have a little bit of shimmer there. And they had an entire collection of stuff. Because they had not only that, but they had a bronzer. They had some really cute... I've got more stuff in my bag. Keep hitting my thingy, sorry. Here we are. Uh, they had some ponytail holders. I got those because my sister's always stealing those and I thought they were cute. I'm thinking about throwing them in her uh, Christmas basket. I'm not 100% certain. Her birthday is coming up in August so they may be just part of her birthday present coming soon. And then also while I was over at the Walgreens I got the Wet n Wild Fergie collection, the uh, Champagne Rose uh, highlighter. Now this one I saw Emily Noel had and it is just this beautiful rosy highlighter. It is absolutely got a lot of shimmer in it. You can barely see it, and I'm sorry. But she said that it was a dupe for a discontinued Dior color. I don't remember the color off the top of my head. And I happened to see it, and this was actually the second time I saw it, and I was, like, really wanting it. And I actually had put it on today. Now, this is this morning. That was like several hours ago. So I can't promise my makeup looks as fantastic as it did earlier today. But it did look really good when I put it on this morning. <laughs> I didn't even retouch up my lipstick before I started the video. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, so that was part of my Walgreens. And then I have 
I got a sample one of the uh, Keratin Smooth Tresemme stuff when I, I got my balm thing. So that is like a huge sample card. And then I also got this little guy at the five below. He is a lip gloss. Um, he is definitely for my little sister. And then I went to the matte counter and I actually bought two lipsticks and I just realized I left one in the other room. But this one is Lady Danger. After watching a lot of Lipstick Addict Tag, this one and Ruby Woo was mentioned a lot. And so I picked up this one and a heroin, which was a nice retro matte purple color. And I was looking at Ruby Woo, but I didn't pick up Ruby Woo because I picked up the, the Aqua Lean, whatever line, the Aquas line. I brought picked up the MAC brush. This is a double, it's a natural fiber on one side and synthetic on the other side. This one, MAC 127. My first MAC brush, it, it's very interesting because it, it honestly, it doesn't feel like it's two different fibers. They blend very well in feeling. They feel exactly the same. So you've got like your wet side and your dry side. Of course, I have Tennessee, just use whatever I feel like using, but so that I ended up picking up instead of a third lipstick. Then I got, actually this is from my Target purchases. I picked up the e.l.f powder brush, the flat top powder brush. This has been absolutely fabulous. I love it. I don't know what I did without it. It is just wonderful. I did, I've seen lots of videos of people, you know, holding up, oh, this is my favorite brush. You know, a brush similar, not exactly this brush, but a brush similar to this. A flat top brush. I think it was a Sigma 88 or Sigma something. I've seen a lot of people pick up and show a flat top brush. And I've always liked, how do you use that? What in the heck is that brush for? And then I bought it and started using it, and I love it. It has become the go-to brush. I can see why they love it. It just, it's just a great tap, tap, tap brush for my powder. And I quit using, like, the other powder brush that I had completely because of this. So, and then I did get my replacement on my Ipsy. I did got the Jessie Girl Eyeliner, which... I forgot, but it's a beautiful black eyeliner. Nice, easy to use brush tip. It goes on, well, it's not quite a brush, but close to a brush. It feels like a brush tip. It goes on smooth. I've not had any problems since I got it. And then the mascara that I got in my laps, Ipsy stunk. And a lot of people got complained about the stinky mascara. And I had just mentioned, you know, I'm not sure about the mascara because of when I was telling them about my eyeliner because of the smell. Because if, if, I, if I had any of my other mascara smelling like that, I'd have tossed it. I wouldn't have used it. Now, I understand that they, you know, they're saying that that is the smell of their mascara and stuff. I just, I can't bring myself to use it. But they sent me another Be A Bombshell. It's the one stick in Girl Crush. And this one is a really pretty pink, light pink color. I honestly would not have gotten that color myself. To be, I mean, to look at the color, I would have thought it would have been too pale for me. But it actually does better than I thought it would. I mean, getting it and trying it, it, it surprised me. It does a lot better than I wanted to. I thought it would. So I've enjoyed having it. I actually used it some today. If you can't, you can't really tell that much in this light. But I used it. And then I had a, a bronzer that I had put there. And that was like earlier this morning. So it's been a long time. I think my, a little bit of my blush has survived. It's, I don't look like I'm blushless, so to speak. I do look lipstickless. But, oh well. So, and that's my Bon Jovi palette I make up there. That, I think that's it on my haul. I'm pretty happy with my stuff. See what else I can get into. Have a good one. <laughs>